Hello and welcome to MoCap TV. In this episode, cadets from Winsville visit the colors for our local hockey game. Pathfinders returns to Missouri Wing, and CAP joins the search for the missing Malaysia Airlines jet. These stories and more, MoCap TV starts now. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Lieutenant Colonel Brad Sanker. We begin this evening with CAP in the news as the National Radar Analysis Team joins the search for the missing Malaysia Airline Flight 370, which disappeared on March 8th. Lieutenant Colonel John Henderson, a radar analyst for the Air Force's 84th Radar Evaluation Squadron, said for CAP, this is a normal search and rescue mission. In an interview for Civil Air Patrol's Volunteer Now, Henderson stated, we have a lot of experience using different types of radar data, and our software tools are designed to use a lot of different formats of radar data. The goal is to utilize the radar data and radar signatures from the aircraft to determine its ultimate flight path. Radar analysis can be extremely accurate. In the image shown here from a previous search, the wreckage was found within 65 feet of the estimated location. One of the best parts about being a CAP member is all of the opportunities we have to share our programs with the community. Recently, cadets from the Winsville Composite Squadron took to the ice at the Family Arena in St. Charles to present the colors for a local hockey game. Here's Captain Jennifer Smith with more. This is Captain Jen Smith from the Winsville Composite Squadron. On Friday, February 28th, cadets participated in Color Guard presentation at the St. Charles Chill Professional Hockey Game at the Family Arena in St. Charles, Missouri. Cadet Master Sergeant Justin Smith, Cadet Senior Airman Gabriel Gage, Cadet Airman Christian Guard, and Cadet Airman Lance Carter presented the colors during the national anthem before the game. More than 10 cadets and seniors stayed for the game afterward and enjoyed the time together. It is great to see photos and video of activities from the units and members. Here's a look at some recent photos from around the wing. Members from the Table Rock Composite Squadron show off their rockets and certificates from the Aerospace STEM Academy. Cadets from across the wing participate in the 11th Cadet Leadership School at Springfield, Missouri. Lieutenant Brad Walker takes command of the Lee Summit Composite Squadron. And cadets from Winsville Composite Squadron show the St. Louis Cardinals mascot, Fred Bird, how to use a parade rifle. Missouri Wing members stay very busy with activities and events. Let's take a look at some upcoming events over the next few months. Pathfinders makes a return debut after more than a 10 year absence in Missouri Wing. This physically demanding school provides critical skills to support the ever changing role for emergency services. The school will be in conjunction with the 2014 summer encampment at Fort Leonard Wood from 28 June to 6 July. Only 20 training slots are available with strict criteria for attendance. 
Planning for the 2014 summer encampment is well underway with staff currently being selected. The encampment is 28 June to 6 July at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Application process and cost can be found on the encampment website. A link is provided in the description below. Missouri Wing invites all members to participate in the annual Aviation Day at our state capitol on 8 April. This event allows members to meet one-on-one -on -one with our state legislators to talk about CAP and share what our wing does for Missouri. CAP will be introduced in both chambers with a special presentation on the House floor. For more information, contact Lt. Col. Randy Fuller. Be sure to submit your activities on the events calendar on the Missouri Wing website. If you're currently filling a staff position in your unit or at other levels, you know that keeping track of paperwork can be an overwhelming responsibility, especially if you don't have a scanner to electronically store all that paperwork. I'll show you an easy solution in today's tech tip. Most of us operate in a portable environment in CAP. Units meet at schools, churches, and FBOs, and most of the time the space is shared so there's no place for a computer or multifunction printer. However, most members carry a smartphone or a tablet that can quickly serve our office automation needs. There are several apps on the market, most of which are free, if you can tolerate the advertising that scrolls across the bottom. For my mobile office, I use an app called Cam Scanner. I have the Pro version, which only cost me a few dollars. I can scan whatever the document is and immediately upload it to a cloud storage or email it directly to the wing. That's all for this episode of MoCap TV. As always, if you have a story that you'd like to share, you can send it to mocaptv at mowg.cap.gov. Until next time, thanks for watching.